Hey Libra, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading. This reading's for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Libra reading. It could resonate right now or later on down the line. Anything could come out during this reading right to the very last second. Even after I click off, I can still go, come back on camera with messages that are random or that have something to do with the reading. Also, if you don't know what this reading is, I say pay even closer attention. It could be a heads up to something coming, like I said, later on. What do we need to know? Spirit and angels, what do we need to know? Okay, we have remain positive. No. What else do we need to know? Romance and compromise. All right. Uh, so I have to say, though, no compromise. There is no compromise. Let me just take a look at it. Can we look at no compromise? it's up to you ask for help from others all right it's up to you to ask for help from others and something why is romance here romance doesn't always mean romance by the way sometimes it just means yes listen to your intuition don't compromise listen Libra if somebody wants to be in a romantic relationship with you do not compromise no no it's not okay if this person is i don't know abusive it's not okay if this person is a cheater it's not okay if this person is married it's not okay if dot 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 okay do not compromise all right let's do it i'm so sorry this is the angel answers because you know your intuition is going to tell you this is a bad 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 idea okay so just don't do it if this person's pursuing you and you know they're married or some, anything, it could be anything. It could be a bad habit they have. It could be an addiction they have. It could be, you know, just don't compromise. Spirit is saying don't do it. All right. So it's up to you to protect yourself here and listen to your intuition. <clears throat> uh, ask your friends. Ask the people that love you if they think it's a good idea. You know, do that because it says ask for help from others. Remain positive. Don't compromise. Spirit and angels, you know, don't compromise yourself. You deserve better. What do we need to know? What are the messages? All right, let's do it. Libra reading for anyone is guided. Okay, there you are, Libra. Justice, balance, you know what's right. I know you already know this. Oh, we got another one. Yep, eight of wands. There it is. Run, run, Libra, look. Look how fast she's running. I can't run fast enough away from this lack of compromising. Like, do not, you're the one who's not going to compromise with this. Do not compromise. Queen of Pentacles reverse. This could be somebody around you. They could be, they could be any gender. doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep these all together because they came out together. But I'm still going to get two more cards over here, please. What else do we need to know? Nine of Pentacles. Really nice. The world almost popped out of the deck. Okay, I see it. There you go. Four of Wands. I'm going to put these back. It's just too many. But look at this energy coming through. This is actually really nice energy. So even though the camp Queen of Pentacles is reversed, it's not bothering me at all. And I think that's because it's just saying, you know, this person or this energy around you this could be your very own energy is very depleting and we want to get you up in this really high vibration nine of pentacles like do not compromise yourself to let anything or anyone bring you down because you have all this really beautiful energy we've got you here libra moving full speed ahead with the eight of wands <clears throat> We don't want this energy taking any bit of this dynamic energy that is Libra. And this is how I see a Libra, really. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, Eight of Wands, gorgeous. Don't let anything or anyone hold you back because you're going to get stuck in all this drama if you do Five of Wands. This came out reversed. I feel like if you can see it from a clear perspective, if you've been looking at something, Spirit says use this as your growth, your enlightenment, your... Um, to like get you out of this is a good energy to be in the hangman to observe to take in, in all this information to grow and then it's good to come out of it enlightened so that you can pull away from any kind of dramas or anything and get yourself up into this high vibration 
Nine of Cups, this is where your wish fulfillment is going to come in. And the Four of Wands, even though it's reversed, doesn't bother me one bit. It never does. Um, sometimes it just means we are, you know, trying to get something leveled out in our home life. Or even work or a relationship or something like that. But we also have here, you know, we have somebody who has not been in your highest good. We got the Five of Swords and we got the Knight of Cups reversed. I feel like you've been dealing with someone who compromises you. Someone who caused you um, drama and stress. Look, Nine of Swords is reversed. You've got the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands reversed. You have the Five of Swords here. This person is not in your highest good. They could be a player. They could be a liar. They could be somebody who really just is not good for you. This doesn't have to be love. I have to say that, but you know, it could be. Let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Spirit, you got two cards with the scales of justice on them for Libra, right? And spirit says, no compromising yourself. Listen to your intuition, right? Especially if it's in the way of romance, because you do have that here. Let's find out. And you do have the four ones in reverse over here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Libra, Libra reading. Libra reading. Now, this there are multiple different messages could come through, guys. So hang in there just a minute. Your message probably hasn't come out yet. What do we need to know? What are the messages here for Libra? Or Libra Cross Watchers for the next uh, two weeks, for the first two weeks of September. All right, let's do it. This could resonate right now or later on down the line, but it's a heads up. What do we need to know about this? Justice, please, for Libra. Justice. Yep, that is your new beginning, but your new beginning might lie with the tower, okay? The tower is right there in reverse. Something about you, you know, pulling the plug on something is going to be where the joy is, the, where the beauty lies here, for where your new beginning lies. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen, King, doesn't matter. This could be anybody. Four of Wands, look at that. We're going to look at it. It's right here in the reverse. Why is the Four of Wands reversed over here then? Justice reversed. All right, so whatever you've been going through that's Four of Wands reversed is going to end up being Justice in the Upright. Right now it's Four of Wands reversed, Justice reversed, but it's going to be Four of Wands in the Upright, Justice in the Upright in the New. So when you step into this new energy, when you go down this new path at the bottom of your deck, two of wands, we're going to see the difference here. You're going to see something's getting completely turned around here. But it has to do with that tower being the end of something and this ace of pentacles, like you're going to grab this ace of pentacles and move forward. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. What about the nine of pentacles? High vibration, also abundance. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, that equals Ten of Pentacles in my book. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. What do we need to know, please? How about Ten of Cups? How about Ten of Pentacles? <laughs> From my lips to God's ears, oh my goodness. This is your abundance coming in. I said it and Spirit sent it. And they sent not only the Ten of Pentacles, but the Ten of Cups. And guess what else they sent? The Ten of Swords in the reverse. I have chills right now. That's the way we want to see it. 10, 10, 10. You're done with this. This has to do with Libra, Queen of Swords, making a decision, Two of Swords, about something. It could be a partnership for some of you, some kind of partnership. It might involve walking away, Eight of Cups. I have to say it from a disappointing situation, Five of Cups, and causing this change. I can't believe these came out as soon as I said the nine and the, the one is the ten of pentacles. And Spirit's like, you know what? This isn't just this. This Whatever this new opportunity is, whatever this is that you don't compromise yourself on something and you insist on the new and the balanced, if you insist on new and balanced, you're going to find that you release anything. The, I can't believe three tens came out at the same exact time with your nines. I mean, you're at nines and tens everywhere here and your ace is already here saying, the minute you do this, you are full speed ahead right into your ace. I mean, this is for you. 
It's gorgeous. Libra, this energy is amazing. Libra. All right, let's take a look at... This is all because you're seeing something. Let's look at the Hanged Man, Five of Wands reversed. Hanged Man reversed, Five of Wands reversed. It's like you see something very clearly about the drama or about somebody who lies. Tell me about this. The Hanged Man reversed, Five of Wands reversed. Libra again, seeing something clearly. You see something so clearly, Libra. I want to get another one. Can we get another one on the hanged man who's now enlightened in the reverse with the five of wands again reversed? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Yep. I kid you not. The tower. Again, you know, this really has to do with the moment you release this or the moment you, you might, I, I almost feel like, and maybe you already lived through this tower. I'm going to look at it. Tell me about this tower in reverse. What about the tower? This could have been the moment this person was, you know, doing whatever they did to you to cause you all the stress. Tell me about the tower reversed. What is this about? Look at that. The Ace of Swords came out on its side as a challenge. And look at this. The Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. You could have dealt with something at work. You could have dealt something uh, with something that you put a lot of work and time and effort into, and then you realized, you know, there was a lot of saboteurs or a lot of troublemakers, or there was just a lot of drama around the situation. I'm going to look at, um, but there's this Ace of Swords is just a challenge. It This is your new opportunity. This also could be your justice, your win. Why is the Ace of Swords a challenge here? Why? Yep, look at that. So, because Spirit's trying to hand you the new beginning, but you haven't seen it yet. You might be really disappointed about whatever happened here. Or, like I said, there could be a group of people that you've really been hurt by or just weren't in your highest good. And Spirit's like, well, no worry, we got a real cup for you here. We got a real sword. We got a real pentacle. Like, we've got all this new energy for you, but we just need you to recognize it. Um, I feel like you will. Because you've got these cards where you're, you know, you're seeing something very clearly in an enlightened state here. And that's that tower moment. This might happen all at once where that tower is the moment you see it and go, oh my gosh, it's all right here for me. I mean, look at this energy. This, Libra, this does not get any better. Justice, Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace, uh, Ten of Swords reverse the way we want it. The Four of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. And don't forget, we still have the Nine of Cups down here. We haven't even looked at Wish Fulfillment. And the Nine of Pentacles is again at the bottom of your deck. I mean, this is such great energy. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. We haven't even looked at it yet. What do we need to know for Libra Nine of Cups? What's important? You got the Queen of Pentacles again, who's up here. And you got the Sun in reversed with the Magician. So you got the Sun reversed, the Magician... You've got the Queen of Pentacles. Again, I'm feeling like there's something about this Queen of Pentacles. I, this could be a financial situation that, look, Libra, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom of your deck. You have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? She does not have to be a she. She could be anyone. She, he, they. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Who is this to Libra? Why is this person keep showing up? They keep showing up around your home and family. Who is Queen of Pentacles? Knight of Swords. Somebody, give me another one. Queen of Pentacles reversed for Libra. Yeah, the pay, no, the Knight of Wands reverse. Somebody, in, somebody who you can't trust. Somebody who you can't trust somebody you can't trust Libra there's something here about now that was this person trying to hide something with the Sun and what is the Knight of Swords doing here that's like your energy it's like you seeing the truth about somebody who's not in your highest good yeah you see it you are enlightened this is your energy completely enlightened about whatever this person was doing that was causing an injustice around your foundation this person lots of fives coming out in your reading they're everywhere in your reading 
popping out constantly. This means change, which I already see coming in for you. There is a completion here. I mean a completion. There's no doubt about it. 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> like that's how many nines and tens you have. And you have all these aces pushing their way in, trying to get your attention. Like over here, like over here. This is probably an ace try an ace of cups trying to come in for you, but it can't even come in. You won't even look at it. The um ace of swords came in as a challenge because that's challenge. The the towers here. This all has to do with something you have to see. I mean, everywhere I look, you're going to see something clearly. And it's your it's that, aha, uh -huh, I swear, I think this tower is that moment that you fully understand something. Uh, listen to your intuition. You're going to understand something. And then Spirit says, when you see this, when you understand this, when you... I feel like you're going to have to um, really be strong about not compromising yourself at all. Having the strength to say, no, it's not good enough for me. And that's when you're going to, that's when, the, that's when the flower will blossom because it's almost like a, it's almost like a spiritual um, test, you know, of self-love. Are you in a high enough vibration to receive the blessing you're about to receive here? by refusing to accept anything less. That's what I feel. Good luck, Libra. I'm going to pull you some after tarot real quick before we go. Spirit and angels, what's next here for Libra or Libra cross watchers or whoever we're talking to here? What do we need to know? I will say a lot of Libra energy came out. Cancer had that that card at the very end of the reading as well. And this, I think it was their first card out as well. Just thought I'd mention that. What else do we need to know? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Absolutely. This King of Wands energy says to me it's happening during uh, Leo season because you had these other Leo cards. You had the Strength card at one point. You have the Sun here. I feel like now you could be dealing with um, a King of Wands who could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But I more... I more feel like this is a time frame. Like this is your time to receive new opportunities page of cups this new energy that you and this queen of pentacles accepting her abundance it's almost like um let me look at the king of wands real quick can we look at this king of wands please page of wands yeah all right so this really says to me there's some place you're going to go something you're going to do some kind this is all action King of Wands action. Look at the Page of Wands taking an action, but leaving something behind as they move forward onto something new. New action, action, action. It's a decision that you, Libra, will make. That's a Libra card for me. I feel very much like you are going to make a decision. Like when this ship shows up, you're getting in it. You're going to get right in. And look, it's you, Libra. Here you are again. All right. For some of you, you're dealing with a fire sign. No doubt about it. Uh, but this could be your very own energy. But there's something going on here where you are going to get in the boat. You're calling it in with the three of wands. And when it shows up, six of swords, you're stepping into it. And it's going to take you to this place of peace. It's a decision. There could be two of you involved. I almost feel like it's you and a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or it's going to happen during... Uh, Leo season, which is right this minute. We're just, you know, still... Are we still in Leo season at the point this comes out? Yes, I think you will still be in it. This could be a time frame for some of you. For others of you, there's another person involved in this. And um, they want you to be, you know, of course, don't compromise for anything less. If this person isn't in your highest good, know that but this could be the person coming remember this is after tarot and spirit is saying don't compromise compromise yourself for the person who showed up as this player knight of wands reverse knight of cups reverse the person taking advantage of you the person who is a liar okay we saw that through the reading right this seems to be the next person coming in that's going to be new that's going to come in and they're going to be on the other side of this. You're going to get in this boat and move away from the drama or whatever happened back here. After you do this, 
after you decide as a Libra, this is a Libra card for me, after you make a decision based off your intuition, remember, listen to your intuition, this person makes a decision by listening to their intuition. I feel like you're going to know that there's somebody better for you because look how there's two men here fighting for her. Now, this could be vice versa. It doesn't matter. But it's really just showing that your intuition is going to tell you, if I stay with this fool, the liar, liar, pants on fire, player guy or girl, I am going to miss out on my king of wands. And that's exactly what I feel coming through so strong for you when you decide... When you're in an enlightened state, Libra in an enlightened state, cutting out anything and anyone that wasn't in your highest good. I feel the person who's not in your highest good is whoever this was back here. They are coming through as a player and a liar. So with these knights in reverse like this. So please be careful, Libra. Continue to listen to your intuition and you are going to end up in a state of balance here. There's a lot of positive energy. Before we even pulled these... Before we even pull these that show the next step of this other person coming into your life, whether it be work, whether it be love, whether it be whatever it is, this is going to be where you're going to accept your abundance from this person. I feel like it's whoever this king of wands is. They could be he, she, they, it doesn't matter. Would you love to hear from you? Please do comment down below and don't forget to like this reading. It helps the channel and it keeps you guys in good standings to get more videos on my channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.